another very important department uh, without which nothing would be would be possible is the modeling department where all the digital assets or the basically the objects that are gonna populate the visual effects scenes uh, are modeled and this includes environment objects modeling of characters anything really that needs to be digital has to go through the modeling department. In most of the situations, the modeling department needs to actually model every single detail of every single object that needs to be rendered or replaced or added on top of the plate. So it's a very time consuming process and it's very hard as well, especially when there is characters and the concept behind the characters. So this is where uh, the production starts ahead of time compared to the, when the plates are delivered by the client. So obviously the movie is shot in a certain period of time and there is delays because the shooting takes a lot of time. So the visual effects companies start working on the, all the elements that they can work with while waiting for the plates. And uh, this includes character, concept uh, design, or uh, even uh, environment modeling, and all these kind of things. In general, you can pretty much start uh, the modeling phase way ahead of receiving the plates, as soon as you have enough reference material. Obviously, you cannot start modeling if you don't have enough pictures, if you don't have the pictures of what you, or the drawings of what you have to model. And so that depends a lot on how organized and how efficient is the pre-production department with concepts and or uh, reference pictures. But in general, the modeling department is the first one that starts way ahead of time, way before uh, the plates are delivered by the client onto the visual effects company. Once the model is done, uh, this model it doesn't have any visual property, it doesn't have any uh, material look, it doesn't have any color. It's just like a sculpture. It's like if you were taking a clay model and then at this point the clay model is done, but it's one color, it's the clay color. You need to make sure that the model is translated into something that is visually real, that looks visually real. And that's where the texturing department and the look tech departments come into play. So what the texturing department does is pick up this clay model, this digital clay model, and put textures onto it. The textures are just images that are painted according to uh, the kind of material that you want the object to look like and um, are then passed by to the look dev department which is in charge of picking up all these images combine them together work them together and make sure that the result of all this work is as real as possible the texturing department through reference pictures and painting and uh, uh, a lot of work in, uh, in Photoshop as well or in other painting software, um, make sure that they have enough data to pass to a look dev department that then can elaborate this data and, and uh, make realistic materials onto these objects. This is one of the most important parts of the whole process as far as realism is concerned. If the textures are not good enough Look dev artists struggle in creating very good re uh, looking and realistically looking objects, characters, uh, surfaces. The look dev uh, part of the process is a very hard one. It requires both technical and artistic knowledge uh, because you are creating something that has to be visually appealing and nice looking but is also strictly correlated by how real things work. And um, it's, uh, I've been looked at the apartments for, uh, for a long time and that's a very, 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 very delicate thing to do. It's very important to say that in some companies the texture and look dev departments are one thing but in other companies are two separate things and this creates a further problem where it, the, the texture department needs to be done needs to be done in time in order for look dev to start if the textures of a model are not ready in time look dev cannot start and there is a lot of back and forth between the look dev department and the texture department because there is always changes that needs to be done for the look dev artist to uh, make the, the results uh, believable and realistic. The look dev for animation features is usually a little bit simpler because it's more stylized most of the time but the look dev for uh, visual effects instead is quite complicated and re requires a lot of time as well. Uh, so 
uh, the asset, so the objects basically uh, go through modeling. The modeling release a clay model. The clay model needs to be painted by the texture department and then the textures are passed on to the look dev department that makes sure that the materials of the model look real thanks to also thanks to the texture that are provided by the texture department. Textures and look dev. And this is something else that goes onto the lighting department. Obviously, if the creature that we have to add into the plate is not ready in texturing or in look dev, we can't get the lighting department to work on that, if not to a certain extent, because obviously it's not completed and it will not look right. what the effects department does is basically creating effects so anything that is uh, uh, related to natural uh, or unnatural um, simulations like dynamic simulations for example dust fire uh, eff magic effects and anything that is actually um, something that requires physical forces or even destructions or a brick of walls falling down uh, and these sort of things is made by the efforts department. The efforts department is another very technical department and uh, it's very, very, very important as well because obviously the realism of their simulations impacts on the final quality of the, of the shot itself. In some companies, they render their own effects with render i mean they make they make basically the look dev of the effects by themselves or in other companies or in other situations the effects guys pass the data to the look dev department the look dev department or the lighting department and, and basically this department taking care of uh, uh, making these effects look real sometimes it's easier to have the effects department to render them just because is a, a, a the effects uh, simulations are always very heavy and they require a lot of machine power and it's easier to the effects artists basically have a look and at the same time work on the simulation whereas if the look doesn't look right in the look tab or the lighting department then this uh, has to be uh, and to go back to the efforts department which needs to re-simulate the whole thing and then send it back so there is a lot of back and forth as well so I'm adding here the efforts department the animation department is obviously another very important one and it takes uh, is in charge of creating believable animations for the character once the model is ready it basically goes to the animation department through another uh, department passing through another department first which is the rigging department the rigging department is the department that creates the controls that the animators will use to animate their their uh, model for example in real life a character moves through bones a muscle and you know uh, all the movements that we can do depends on how we are structured in a digital animation is the same thing you have more freedom obviously but you have to create a structure that allows this model to be deformed and then a set of controls that the animators can creatively use in order to give life to these models and then there is animation department. In uh, visual effects, there isn't always a lot of animation. It depends. There usually is uh, a few characters or there is some crowd, which I will add in a second. <clears throat> and but um, uh, in a visual, in, but in animation features, obviously there is tons of animation, and that's also where more complicated animation happens because in uh, visual effects there is always a, a realistic mood that needs to be added to the CGI to the computer generated images but in uh, animation features it's usually more of a, uh, a cartoony look where the animation needs to be really 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 good and obviously the rig needs to allow this sort of complicated movement as well 